Good morning, beloved. Uh, this morning our devotional is 1 Samuel chapter 14, verses 4 to 7. The Word of God says on each side of the pass that Jonathan, Jonathan intended to cross to reach the Philistines' outpost uh, was a cliff. One called Bozaz and the other Senna. One cliff stood to the north towards Michmash, the other to the south toward Geba. Jonathan said to his young armor bearer, Come, let's go over to the outpost of the uncircumcised men. Perhaps the Lord will act in our behalf. Nothing can hinder the Lord from saving, whether by many or by few. Do all that you have in mind, his armor bearer said. Go ahead, I am with you, heart and soul. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word. Now, Father, help us to commit ourselves to your way to walk with you and do that which is right in your sight, following godly men and women and godly examples. Father, I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, beloved, uh, we are continuing as Jonathan is getting ready to go over to the Philistines. His father doesn't really know, and it's a um, very difficult and dangerous thing. And Jonathan is getting ready to walk across and it is a from a military point of view it's actually not a good place to go he's going to attack up a cliff and and he's surrounded and there's no place to run and it, if it was just a military matter it would be something that he probably shouldn't do but it's not a military matter and it's never a common sense matter it's not a common just what i think is right it's the lord's way that's right now sometimes common sense is right but beloved, our ideas and our common sense and our plans mean nothing if they are in disagreement with the Lord or if they do not take the Lord into account. If we make plans without considering the Lord's way, our plans mean nothing, even if they're the best common sense in the world. If it's not the Lord's way, then we shouldn't do it. Jonathan is getting ready to go across. There are two cliffs. One uh, to the north and the other to the south. Jonathan said to his young armor bearer in verse 6, Come, let's go over to the outpost of the uncircumcised men. Perhaps the Lord will act in our behalf. Nothing can hinder the Lord from saving, whether by many or by few. You see, Jonathan's plans are not for himself. They're not of his own, and they're not for his own ego. He's not looking for spoil or conquest or conquering. He is looking for the way of the Lord and for what the Lord would have. And that's the great lesson for us, beloved. We need to commit ourselves to the Lord's way, whether it makes sense or not, whether rational people say don't do it or whether it's the right thing. So many missionaries uh, have people tell them, you shouldn't go there, you shouldn't do that. It's too dangerous. It's too far away. You don't know anybody. You're not equipped for this. You're not right. Beloved, so many pastors have friends and family that say, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. Uh, and try to discourage someone from uh, entering the ministry. I knew of a young man who uh, felt the call of God. And he had a friend who was a missionary. And they had met each other. Uh, through uh, this missionary on his one-year sabbatical from the mission field, had gone to a church to lead the education department for one year, and then he would go back to the mission field. And this young man became friends with the missionary and, and admired him and believed that he was truly a good man of God. And uh, this young man, not perfect in his own way, uh, felt the call of God uh, to go into ministry, and the missionary said, I don't know if that's right for you or not. You see, the missionary didn't consider God's way. He was only considering what he saw, not what God could make of the person. Beloved, we need to commit our ways unto the Lord, not our own ideas, not our own common sense, but the Lord's way. See through the Lord's eyes the possibilities of what God can do with somebody. And his armor bearer, do all that you have in mind. Go ahead, I am with you, heart and soul. His armor bearer, said, I'm going to go with you. And beloved, that's the second lesson we need to learn. We need to find men and women that are seeking God and walking with God and follow them. Help them. Support them. 
beloved, don't abandon them. Christians, we need to band together. People with the Lord Jesus Christ as our head, the body of Christ, bonded together, supporting one another, and helping each and every one of us grow in grace and the knowledge of Jesus. May God bless you as you go about your day.